Hello and welcome to the Hobby PCB Test Lab where today we're going to be demonstrating the Hobby PCB RS UV3 transceiver for use as a UHF full duplex repeater. Let's look at our test setup. Here are the two transceivers. This one's set up as a transmitter at 443.1 MHz and this one's set up as a receiver 5 MHz above at 448.1 MHz. The signal for the receiver comes straight out of the duplexer. The signal from the transmitter goes through this 1.5 watt amplifier, which after it goes through the duplexer makes about a watt of output. The duplexer was purchased on eBay for about $70 and came already tuned to the specified frequencies. Here's our receive signal generator. It's set at 448.1 megahertz and it's making a signal at about minus 88 dBm. The signal comes out of the generator through this 30 dB attenuator, has another 3 dB attenuation through this splitter, through the duplexer into the receiver. And if we uh, turn the generator on, we can hear a weak but readable signal coming from the receiver and the receiver is reporting a signal strength of uh, minus 119. And you can see if I uh, turn off the generator the signal drops to the noise floor and the receiver is quiet. For the transmitter the signal comes out of the duplexer through the splitter over here to this directional coupler where part of the signal makes it around to the frequency counter and the part of the signal goes through another attenuator to a USB power meter. Now the power meter is calibrated so that it actually reads the power coming straight out of the duplexer and that any loss in between them is, uh, is accounted for in the software. And we can see that if I key the transmitter we get just a little bit more than a watt out and the frequency is uh, right on 443.1 megahertz. So the question is, what happens to our weak receive signal when we key the transmitter? You can hear it is desensed just a little bit. Here I'll go, that's off, that's on. And you can see here that the signal strength doesn't really change too much when the transmitter is active. Now what you also might like to see is what happens to the noise floor. At minus 129, when I key the transmitter, it goes to about a minus 128. So we've got about a 1 dB increase in the noise floor. The other advantage of the uh, RSUV3 is that it contains all of the control functions built right into the radio that you would need to set up a repeater. The hang time, the CWID, the timeout timers, all keying options are available on the board for both a carrier operated and a coded tone squelch repeater. It's also a very compact setup, much smaller than uh, equivalent repeater solutions. Well, thanks for watching.